Hey there! Thanks for coming to my house to play today. I'm Alex, and I love to pretend to be a detective that solves mysteries. Whenever I pretend to be a mystery-solving detective, my house becomes the Mystery Manor, and I like to call myself Agent A. My friends Bitsy and Cluey are part of my super detective team that helps me solve mysteries. Ooh, I have a great idea. Would you like to be on the super detective team and solve a mystery with Bitsy, Cluey, and me? Yes! Well, great! With your help, Bitsy and I will find all the clues that Cluey sends us in no time at all. Now, before we get started, we should know that super detectives always follow two rules. The first rule is to be kind. So let me hear you say this after me. Be kind. Be kind. Great job. You can be kind by using your quiet voice as we look for clues. The second rule is to be safe. So let me hear you say this after me. Be safe. Be safe. Great job. You can be safe by keeping your hands in your lap and sitting on the ground as we look high and low to solve today's mystery. Now that we know our two rules, we have to make sure we have our special detective tools. One special tool we can use is a magnifying glass. Like this. I use my magnifying glass to see the teeny tiny clues that help us solve mysteries. Friends, let me see you take out your pretend magnifying glass and hold it up to your eye like this. That's it. Now, put away your magnifying glass so you'll know where it is when we need it again later. Good job. Okay. Two more detective tools we need are a notepad and a crayon. We will draw the things we find today right here on our notepads. Then we'll call my friend Chloe, and she will help us use them to solve today's mysteries. Let me see all you super detectives hold up your notepad and practice drawing a clue. Great job! Now, we have one last thing to do before we get started catching clues. We need to do the detective shuffle. It's my favorite. So everyone, stand up and do it with me. Detectives, tiptoe, look high, look low. Reach out, don't shout. Look out and find, we search for the clues. God gives us the truth, because he loves me, because he loves you. Detectives, tiptoe, look high, look low. Reach out, don't shout. Detectives, you can sit back down in your special spot. Oh good, it's the Mystery Manor doorbell. I wonder if Chloe has sent us mail. I just love when there's a mystery to solve. Oh wow, Bitsy, I knew it. It's Mystery Mail, Mystery Mail, Mystery Mail. Let's open it up and see what Chloe is sending us today. To read these mystery mail clues, we need our magnifying glasses. So everyone, take out your magnifying glass and put it up to your eye like this. It says, Dear Agent A, to solve today's mystery, you need to search for three clues. Once you find them, give me a call. 
I'll show you a place the mystery can be solved and give you a great reward. Signed, your friend, Cluey. Oh boy, Bitsy, Cluey sent us some clues. Clue number one says, we go to church and God is there. But can God really be everywhere? Look down low and way up high. This is big and shines really bright, but you cannot see it at night. Okay, detectives, let's use our magnifying glasses to search for something that is big and shines really bright. First, let's look down. Then up. I don't see anything. Let's keep looking all around. Super detectives, I think we found it. The sun is big and shines really bright, and I can't see the sun in the dark of night. While I draw a sun in my notepad, you can draw in your notepad too. Great work, detectives. Now we're ready for clue number two. Okay, clue number two says, when you have been out in the sun so hot, one drink of this can cool you off a lot. Hmm. Let's look up and down. Now let's tiptoe to see if the clue can be found. I see something that cools me off when I have fun in the sun. Do you? Yes! Of course. I love to drink water on a hot sunny day. Let's all draw water in our notepads. And there. Okay, we got it. Now onto clue number three. Our last clue says, you may see a smile or a frown, but keep looking all around for the face that's made when you feel afraid. Detectives, let's use our magnifying glasses to search for a face that you would make if you were afraid. Do you see anything, Bitsy? Do you see anything, detectives? A scared face! Great job, detectives. The answer to clue number three is a scared face. Everyone, take out your notepads and let's draw a scared face. That's it. Now that we have solved all three clues, let's call Cluey. We do that by saying, hey, Cluey. Let's say that together now. Hey, hey Cluey. You did a great job searching for all the clues, and I'm so excited to show you how they solved today's mystery. We do that by looking in the best book ever. Super detectives, do you want to hear a true story from the Bible? Yes! Let's all click on our listening ears. Click, click! Now let's all put on our detective goggles. Zoop, zoop! You look ready to solve today's mystery for sure. As you listen to today's story, keep your eyes open for the three clues you found. To find out if God is everywhere, we can look in a book of the Bible called Exodus. It says that long ago, God saw how mean Pharaoh was making God's people work extra hard in the hot Egyptian sun. But God was with his people in Egypt and rescued them from mean Pharaoh. God sent them to the desert where he was with them every day for 40 years. He always made sure they had everything they needed, like food and water. Then, one day, it was time for God's people to go into the great new land he had promised. Before they arrived, God was already there making sure all the other kings in the land were too scared to hurt God's people. Any place God's people went, they were safe under his care. That's because we have a super God who is everywhere. Because you did such a great job searching high and low to solve today's mystery, I want to reward you with a special mystery medal. This medal will help you remember that God is everywhere. 
Super detectives, let me hear you say that after me. God is... God is... Everywhere. Everywhere. Great job. This week, super detectives, no matter where you are, you can know that God is with you because God is everywhere. I hope to see you again soon. Cloodles! Cloodles! Now it all makes sense. God was with his people as they worked in the hot sun. And when his people, the Israelites, were hungry and thirsty, God was with them and gave them food to eat and water to drink. God was also with them when they were going into the land he had promised. God even made all the other kings scared so they would not hurt God's people. Now I know that no matter what happens or where I go, God is with me because God is everywhere. Detectives, why don't you say that after me? God is... God is... Everywhere. Everywhere. Super job. I am so excited that we won our mystery medal today. I love that God rewards us when we search for him. It makes him so happy when we look for him every day. Wow, God loves us so much. Let's all stand up and sing a song for him. me he can do anything if i run over here if i run over there god is everywhere and he loves me when i look up 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 i know he's real when i look down 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 i believe what i found when i look in god's word and i search for him he rewards me cause he me he can do anything if i run over here if i run over there god is everywhere and he loves me when i look up 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 i know he's real when i look down 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 i believe what i found when i look in god's word and i search for him he rewards me cause he He's real when I look down, down, down I believe what I found When I look in God's word And I search for Him He rewards me Cause He loves me Cause He loves me Cause He loves me Great singing, detectives. You can all have a seat. That song reminds me of a verse from the Bible. Say this after me. Believe that. Believe that. God is real. God is real. And that he rewards everyone. And that he rewards everyone. Who searches for him. Who searches for him. Hebrews 11.6. Hebrews 11.6. Great job, detectives. It looks like Bitsy is tired from all our hard work today. Do you think you can help Bitsy up to her web so she can rest? Yes! Yay! Let's answer some questions to help Bitsy climb to her web. Move your fingers like this. Okay, detectives, let's stop and answer this question. Did God rescue his people, the Israelites, from a snake or from mean Pharaoh? From mean Pharaoh! That's right! God rescued his people, the Israelites, from mean Pharaoh. Let's help Bitsy climb. Wow, you're doing great. Let's answer another question to keep helping Bitsy. Were God's people in the desert for 40 days or for 40 years? For 40 years! Yes, God's people were in the desert for 40 years but he always made sure they had everything they needed, 
like food and water. Bitsy's almost there. Let's keep going. We are so close now. Let's answer this last question and get Bitsy all the way up to her web. Did God make sure to keep the Israelites safe no matter where they were? Yes or no? Yes! You are so right, detectives. God made sure that wherever his people went, they were safe and under his care. That's because God is everywhere. Now, let's get Bitsy to her web. Wow! Thanks so much for your help today. You helped us find all our clues, solve our mystery, and get Bitsy back up to her web. Remember, our work as a detective is never done. You can tell the whole world about the mystery you solved today at Mystery Manor. Say this after me in your best detective whisper voice so we don't wake up Bitsy. God is... God is... Everywhere. Everywhere. Fantastic. Super Detectives, I hope you'll come back to Mystery Manor and solve some more clues with us soon. See you next time. Or as Cluey would say, cloodles.